Hey Taurus, welcome to your love reading from today, July 15th to the 23rd for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. So Taurians, I hope you guys are doing good. Um, for those who are new to my channel, I always do a meditative session and pre-shuffle and then I go ahead and get into the reading. Um, so Taurus, your energy feels really good. It feels really good. I really like it. It feels very optimistic. Now, saying that, this optimism hasn't hit some of y'all yet, okay? I do feel like it's 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 a very healthy optimism, optimistic take on whatever you're going through. I feel like you kind of been kicked down a peg or two or people have tried to take you down, um, whether it's petty shit or whether people are being deceptive and trying to take you down. But you're, you're looking ahead and you're looking up to tomorrow and you're just like, you know, it's going to be good. It's going to be okay. Like, I'm going to be fine. I actually saw Legos, which I thought was really cool. Um, I, I was hugely obsessed with Legos when I was a kid. That was like my favorite toy. But anyway, and I saw you like one by one, very Torian, <laughs> very Torian, one by one building, building and being very happy about it in the process. You know, some of you I feel like have needed to start over. Um, whether you started over months ago or whether you're just starting over now, because I feel like some of you are in different phases of this situation or this energy. Some of you have already rebuilt your shit and you're really happy about it. Others, you're just starting. You're just starting to rebuild. But either way, you've been very optimistic about it. I even heard, <laughs> as cheesy as it sounds, I actually heard um, that lyric from... Um, Annie, uh, how, how does it go? Um, the sun will come out. The sun will come out tomorrow. Bet your bottom dollar. The sun will come out tomorrow. Um, rain or shine. It's like, it goes something like that. Anyway, you guys know how it goes. <laughs> and again, it's that optimism. Like today might be shitty. Tomorrow's going to be better. And I love that for my Torians because I know you guys have kind of been going through it the last few months for sure. Um, and you're not doubting yourself anymore which is really awesome. And for those of you who are, you're gonna get into that place of optimism. And once you do step into that, things are just gonna fall into place. And it's like, you're gonna be so much happier to not think about what people have done to you, to not think about the treachery and bullshit you've had to endure, or not even like thinking about having to rebuild or restart your shit, right? It feels really good. I really like it, Taurus. So let's go ahead and get into the pre-shuffle. So we have Six of Pentacles in reverse, Taurian energy with the Five of Wands, Leo energy. Yeah, do you see where this... <laughs> oh, yeah. Some of, you, some of you guys have really dealt with some treacherous people. And I do say people, not just one person. It could be one person, but I'm feeling people. Definitely feeling people. This could definitely be in regards to the workplace, especially with the Pentacles energy here. Um, either, I, honestly, I'm just getting that, like, bully energy. That bully energy, like the bully who comes up on the beach and kicks down your sandcastle. You know, it's that it's that kind of energy. That's the kind of energy you've been dealing with. And Taurus, you're ready to put that behind you if you haven't already. Like I said, some of you have already done this and you've rebuilt your stuff and you're in a much happier place. Um, mm -hmm. In regards to love. Oh, interesting. In regards to love, I feel like you've dated bullies. <laughs> for lack of a better term, or, or you've been drawn to people who've kind of pushed you around a little bit or taken advantage of you. Oh, taking advantage of your loyalty. Yeah. Oh, people. Uh, I know people keep people can suck sometimes. They really can just being honest. But Taurus, for yeah, for those in that romantic situation, you've you've drawn people to you who've really taken advantage of you, who've pushed you around, who tried to push you around because they notice right away that you're very loyal. And that's like the one of the things about Taurians that are so awesome. They're so freaking loyal. And you need that in a partnership. You want that in a partnership. But you're moving past that. It's like, I'm not gonna attract those people anymore. I'm not gonna be in relationships like that anymore. You know, a lot of you are telling yourself that and you're like, you know what? I will be in something better and the sun will come out tomorrow, damn it. But either way, this is an energy you're leaving behind. You're not letting these people or that energy get you down anymore and keep you down. Some of you were kept down by that kind of energy. Now moving ahead. The moon in reverse, Piscean energy, also Cancerian for me as a reader. I expect to see this card quite a bit in the next couple reads because of the full moon and cap that we're having. Um, then we have the Knight of Pentacles, Virgo energy, could also be Earth or Fire. With the King of Wands, Leo energy, could also be Fire or Air. This is realizing the steps you need to make, Taurus, as a King of Wands and a Knight of Pentacles. And like I said, that slow building, right? <laughs> that slow building, I'm also getting entrepreneurial energy, like very much taking the lead, very leader-like energy, which I love for Taurus. Um, Taurians, you guys can run a lot of shit. You really can. I mean, some people feel like you guys are a little too, um, 
rough around the edges, but you guys, you guys know how to run things, right? And you're taking the lead in your life, in your business, in your career, in your own emotions as well, especially for those who've been dealing with bullies in relationships or just people who want to take advantage of you. Really going about things in the right way to build your stability in the right way. It's really nice. I really like that. Now, here's what's interesting. We've got a Two of Pentacles energy over here, Capricorn, uh, with the Knight of Swords, Gemini energy, could be a cusper, um, could also be air or fire, with the uh, Cherry in reverse, Cancerian energy, again, you could totally be a cusper. I'm feeling some communication and proposal heading your way, Taurus, and it's going to cause a delay with that Chariot in reverse. It's still going to cause a delay, and it's going to make you try, um, make you think of weighing out your options, because you've been very much up here very much up here in your head you've been very, in, in, a, in a good way not in a bad way in a healthy way um because you've been focusing on you a lot of people have been doing that it's very much a theme right now people are focusing on themselves getting rid of the snakes in their life and with this full moon you're gonna see who the snakes really are if you haven't already and someone is stepping to you someone is stepping to you with some communication honest communication um god why is it just like it's thrown on the table whatever this communication is hold on let me get some water mm. Or coffee, that's funny, I said water, and I was like, nope, I need coffee. <laughs> um, whatever this communication is, it's going to make you take a pause. Don't take too much of a pause here, Taurus, because I actually feel a little bit of like, I don't want to say unnecessary delay, but that's kind of how it feels. That's how it's feeling. It's feeling like an unnecessary delay from what you need to do for yourself, that you've realized that you need to do for yourself, all right? Now, some of you uh, might be intuitively picking up on someone coming your way here, Um before they show up. I'm getting an intuitive energy about this. I'm trying to pick up on this person for you. It's someone that you've questioned if they're a snake or not in your life. Mm. Yeah, some of you, yeah, I'd be careful here, Taurus. For some of you, this Knight of Swords is part of this energy. They have their own self-interest. They have their own self-interest here. And some of you know that intuitively. That's only for some of you regarding this Knight of Swords. It's not for all of you. But either way, whatever this person is bringing to the table, and again, it feels like they're just throwing it on the table, not very tactful at all, um, it's going to cause a delay. It's going to cause a delay, and it's going to make you pause. And just don't don't hang in there too long, Taurus. You got shit to do. <laughs> you got stuff to do. Don't hang out there too long, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and get into the reading here. Any messages for Taurus? Oh, by the way, anybody who has any questions, confusions, curiosities on how to interpret tarot readings as a viewer, go ahead and check out the link below. Okay. And I really suggest you guys do that if you're new to reading, tar um, in not reading, if you're new to interpreting tarot card readings, because I've been getting a lot of um, questions about the basics that that video can answer. Okay. All right. Any messages for Taurus regarding love from now until the 23rd? Mm. Why am I seeing waves? Could be dealing with a water sign, but I'm seeing waves. Ah, oh, okay. I'm seeing surfers. <laughs> All right, maybe some of you guys like to surf. You know, Taurus, I think that's also why you guys are, are coming into this optimism mode for those who aren't there yet. You're learning how to ride the waves. You're learning how to ride the ebb and flow of life. And it is an ebb and flow. That's just, that's at a nature level. Everything has an ebb and flow to it. Energy speak, Ener energy wise. My words will come back at some point, guys. I promise. <laughs> Any messages for Taurus? Oh, my. Four of Pentacles in reverse. Capricorn energy. This is release and letting go. Some of you might also be spending a lot of money. At, oh, investment. Okay, investment. I feel like the, that's for people who are doing some business stuff here. Or, you know, you could be investing in a house, but either way, it's regarding investment for those who are spending a lot of, a lot of money. Um, but releasing and letting go of things that really don't serve you. I'm also getting an opening up here. Be careful who you open up to, Taurus. Oh, they're, yeah, they're really poking at me on that. Be careful who you open up to, especially during this time, because a lot of stuff is going to be revealed, but you don't know all the snakes yet. Some of you don't know all the snakes in your life yet, okay? Any other messages for Taurus regarding love? 
Devil in reverse. Oh, yay. Capricorn energy. I love seeing that with the four of pentacles in, the, in reverse. This is letting go of toxicity, man. Like letting go of anything that has kept you down. Like that energy we already picked up on. Also letting go of codependency, letting go of addictions, um, that, you know, just prohibitive lifestyle choices. It feels really good. Oh, it feels really good. I'm actually, oh, the way they're showing that to me is really interesting. I'm actually seeing like a like the heart chakra area like the chest and I'm just seeing like dark energy just kind of seeping out just being let go just let it go man just let it go yeah that's really helping some optimism come in for you guys let's see what we got here wow six of wands in reverse Jupiter Leo energy five of cups in reverse scorpionic energy and king of pentacles in reverse Taurus energy it could also be earth or air wow okay really strong guys some of you were, were really down and out okay and and by that i don't mean just like in the money sense i mean emotionally speaking uh, feel honestly it feels a little dark night of the soul-esque um i'm getting a lot of depression a lot of self-doubt a lot of self-doubt and a lot of isolation but coming out of that coming out of that and i do feel like for some of you this was over materials but more so emotion you feel like you lost a lot at one point taurus oh please come come back some of you feel like you lost a lot at one point. And I say at one point because this feels like past energy that you're you're really letting go of and like really releasing yourself from. And you're feeling so much lighter because of it. And again, that optimism, I just love it. Just eat it up, Taurus. Eat up that optimism. We all need that for breakfast, honestly. <laughs> um, with the King of Pentacles in reverse, which is Taurian energy, I do feel a lot of ungrounded energy um, while you were while you were there. While you were there, while you felt like you lost, you felt like you failed, you felt like you worked so hard for something and it was just obliterated, you felt like it was just taken away from you. In regards to a relationship, I actually, ooh. Hmm. Interesting. In regards to romance, you definitely felt like something failed, but I feel like your perspective on how it happened has changed. You know, and that could go either way. Like some some of you might have thought like it was all their fault and you changed to like, oh no, I did have a hand in this. And others, it was the other way around where it's like, oh man, that was all my fault. That was all my fault. But that was the oppressor, I'll say oppressors, oppressors at work, right? And you're realizing, no, that was not my fault. <laughs> that was not my fault. All right, let's see what else we got. Any other messages for Taurus regarding love from now until the, oh yeah. I love it. Any other messages for Taurus regarding love from now until the 23rd? Any other messages for Taurus regarding love from now until the... Oh, okay. That's it. One last card and it's the Eight of Wands. I love this card came out for you guys, Taurus. Sagittarian energy. This is moving forward. This is progress. Could even be traveling. Could even be moving homes. I just feel like it's more about just getting out of that energy, getting out of any oppressive prohibitive mindsets and just keeping it moving into that again major optimism that's just going to be the title of the reading optimist <laughs> that's all i was going to say um and there is communication involved in this as well i'm getting to a wands energy hmm hmm why am i getting to a wands energy i wouldn't be surprised if it comes out but i'm getting to a wands energy off of this eight of wands interesting Oh, well, we do have the six of wands here. So yeah, the two of wands might come out. But either way, it's moving forward towards optimism, optimism and just something that feels really healthy, really stable, and just happiness, man. And you deserve it. You deserve it, Taurus. I can see you went through some shit. Some of you feel like you went through hell and back. And for those in that dark night of the soul energy who have been experiencing that, whether that's you or someone else, that would definitely kind of be the case. Overall energy, we do have three of wands, Aries energy. So ships coming in. Ships, you see it coming. Oh my God, Taurus, you know, you know that. <coughs> Damn it. Sorry, guys. Give me a minute. <clears throat> this Mercury retrograde in particular is really messed with my throat. <clears> throat> Chakra. Mm. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. You see the light at the end of the tunnel. Oh, I just realized. Do you see there's a sun right there? The sun will come out tomorrow. You know it. You know it. You feel it. And that's helping you stay optimistic. I really love this energy, Taurus. All right. So let's get down to the nitty gritty here. This four of wands. Four of wands. 
<laughs> Four of Pentacles in a verse with a devil in a verse. This is that releasing of the bad shit, right? And again, that could be addictions, codependency, anyone who's trying to manipulate you. And I feel like some of you definitely have people in your life who were trying to manipulate you, for sure. I definitely feel that, especially with that energy we had in the pre-shuffle. Yeah, I'm not... Mm, all right, I'll unpack it. I wasn't going to, but something's telling me to look at that devil energy. <clears throat> Talk about the devil in reverse. For Taurus. Regarding love from now until the 23rd. Talk about the devil in reverse for Taurus. Regarding love from now until the 23rd. Talk about the devil in reverse for Taurus regarding love from now until the 23rd. Talk about the devil. Oh, jeez. Hold on a second, guys. Oh, boy. Eight of Pentacles in reverse here. Virgo energy. Yeah, I'm getting like a lot of um, lackadaisical energy with that. A lot of lackadaisical energy. Um, unable to work. Um... <clears throat> For, oh yeah, for some of you, you are battling some addictions here. Um, again, you or someone else you're connected to. For those who, under, who for those who know how to interpret tarot readings, um, ener it's energy, so it could all be vice versa. Um, yeah, I, that's what I'm getting though. Like codependencies and addictions and just bad lifestyle choices that left this energy of being very lackadaisical, being very unproductive, not being able to work, like literally not being able, able to work. Others, you had people manipulating you, keeping you from being productive, honestly um didn't want to see you succeed they didn't want to see you succeed so they made sure to keep you down as much as they could interesting let's see what else we got here talking about the devil in reverse ah uh, yes <laughs> the world in reverse uh fixed energy so aquarius leo taurus scorpio also saturn controls capricorn this shit's come to an end all right that way of being is ending you're tired of it you're tired of it and you're ready to be in the sun Time of the devil in reverse for Taurus regarding love from now until the 23rd. Nice. Very nice. Tell me about the devil in reverse for Taurus regarding love from now from now until the 23rd. Oh, there's the two of wands. Okay. Oh, I love it. Look at this. Look at this. Now we have the Empress. Oh, focus. Libra energy, Taurus energy, divine feminine energy, very Venus, right? With the ace of wands. Careful of pregnancy, guys. Pregnancy's pregnancy is very strong with this vibration, okay? If you don't want if you don't want any babies, you know how to deal with that, okay? But this is definitely having passion for an empress. So if you're dealing with a Taurus who is more a masculine energy, like more of an emperor energy, then um th then this is definitely the cross watcher. And of course, switch it up switch it up if you need to. I'm really feeling a more masculine energy who's going through a lot of this releasing of, of craziness and crap uh, because of the passion they have for their empress. But this is also a major manifestation of going for what you're really passionate for and what you really, really want in life. Oh, I love it. Oh, I freaking love it. Over energy for the devil, the two of wands. There we go. Making that choice, right? Making the choice to step away from that shit and the way from the bullshit that was keeping you from getting what you need and what you want in life and moving forward moving forward some of you definitely have an empress that you really are moving forward with and you have a lot of freaking passion for i'm getting a lot of sacral energy a lot of sacral energy here so for my feminine taurians this reading is most likely going to be vice versa for you you're more, most definitely the empress here that this um masculine energy who's digging themselves out, out of this shit is coming for Oh man, it's beautiful. But either way, guys, no matter what, manifesting what you want for yourself and what you're passionate about. I love it. Oh, I love it. All right. So with this energy, this is a lot of past energy, so I don't really want to focus on this too much, especially because um, the masculine, heavy, taurine energy I'm tapped into has already stepped out of this. This energy of failure, this energy of depression, this energy of um, being very ungrounded. I'm also getting a little bit of, of you know, too focused on money. I am getting that. I am definitely getting that. Um, yeah, I don't want to focus on that because that's past energy and it's already being done away with. It's already being released. So let's look at the Eight of Wands. Let's look at the Eight of Wands. Let's focus on the positive stuff here. Um, using Gilded Tarot to clarify. Tell me about Eight of Wands for Taurus. Tell me about 
Eight of Wands for Taurus. Regarding love from now until the 23rd. I'm getting a bit of ple pe people pleasing energy here with this masculine energy. I think they're doing away with that. It's so interesting because it's like there's people pleasing. There was, 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 they're emphasizing was. There was a lot of people pleasing going on here, even though it was very detrimental to this masculine energy that I'm picking up in your reading. Hmm. Tell me about Eight of Wands. For Taurus. Regarding love from now until the 23rd. For some, this, this change of getting away from this crap and toxicity might even be because of a pregnancy, okay? Um, and parenthood does change people. <laughs> It does, it does, it does, it does change people. Uh, let's see, tell me about Eight of Wands. Can't wait till I can speak normally again. Tell me about Eight of Wands for Taurus. Regarding love. Tell me about Eight of Wands for Taurus. Regarding love. <clears throat> From now until the 23rd. Tell me about Eight of Wands. Tell me about Eight of Wands for Taurus. Let's see what we got here. We have a Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn energy, could also be Earth or Water. Mm. Wow, Ten of Wands in reverse, Sagittarian energy. Ooh, and the Tower. Oh man, Scorpionic energy could also be Aries or Mars because it's a. Could also be Aries because it's Mars influence. This is interesting. So we have a true pair here, guys. We've got a king and a queen of pentacles. So soulmates, twin flames, divine counterparts, whatever resonates with you, okay? Either way, it's just saying that there's a very, very compatible match going on here, okay? And I do feel a bit of a motherly energy. And then, like I said, we do have a pregnancy vibration going on here. Um, for my male Taurians, you might be thinking about preg you might be thinking about pregnancy in regards to this empress. Um, you might see them as someone you could have a family with. You might just see them as a, in a very matriarchal kind of energy here, someone who could be a very amazing uh, parent. Um, and even if you're in a same-sex relationship, it's not just about mother and father. It's about that family energy. Yeah, yeah. Someone wants a family here. Someone definitely wants a family here. But anyway, let's focus in on this. There's going to be communi communication about a tower that I feel like has actually already taken place. I feel like a tower has already happened. And there's a releasing of burdens between these two energies, between this king and queen of pentacles with this conversation. Yeah, talking about the tower moment and releasing the tension there to move forward. Wow, this is beautiful. I love this. It was pretty beautiful. All right. Tell me about the eight of wands for Taurus. Tell me about the eight of wands for Taurus regarding love. Wow. A lot of cards, guys. From now until the 23rd, tell me about the Eight of Wands for Taurus. That people-pleasing energy is so done with, guys. I, I'm like, I don't know why they're bringing that back to me again. Maybe they want me to talk about it a little bit more, but it's really done away with. It is really done away with. We have a Knight of Pentacles in reverse, Virgo energy. Could also be Earth or Fire. With a Queen of Swords, Libra energy. Could also be Air or Water. Nine of Cups, Piscean energy. Seven of Pentacles, Taurian energy. Yeah, okay. I'm already getting persistent Taurian energy here. And I love when Taurians get persistent because you're a Taurus. I mean, how are you ever not persistent, right? Um, but I'm definitely getting that really strong. Almost taking no, not taking no for an answer. And then we end with the Five of Pentacles in reverse, more Taurian energy. Overall, for the Eight of Wands, we do have a Four of Cups, Cancerian energy. Interesting. Feeling like this is coming from the feminine energy involved in this reading. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I'm also getting a fear of rejection here. It's not stopping this king. It's not stopping this masculine energy. Um, but I am getting a little a little bit of like, oh, what if they say no? It's not stopping them. But what if they say no? But there's definitely going to be clearing of the air here. I see a lot of tension being released. A lot of tension being released. Um, before it's been before it's been released, I feel like when this tension was created, I feel like some of it's de definitely sexual tension. I like some of it's definitely sexual tension, but more than that, it's like it's that kind of tension where no one's talking, 
right? Like you can feel the tension before you walk into the room. It's really intense, actually. It's very, very intense. But let's break down these other energies that came out. So we have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse with the Queen of Swords. I feel like this is someone cutting out cutting out stubbornness, to be honest. Um, not putting up with it. Not putting up with it. The feminine energy involved in this reading, the Empress energy involved in this reading, is not putting up with any stubbornness anymore. <clears throat> so for my male Taurians, my masculine Taurians, might want to be aware of that. Yeah, cut, cutting out that, cutting cutting that out. It's almost like I'm not going to talk to a brick wall is kind of how this feminine energy is feeling. I'm not going to waste my breath if you're going to be stubborn. That's how it's feeling. Not wasting my breath on you if you're if you're not going to listen, if you're not going to hear me out, if you're just if you're just going to keep doing things the way you need to do them. Interesting. That's definitely geared towards the masculine energy here. But to be honest, this queen this queen definitely wants yeah, this queen definitely wants to move forward with this king. Definitely. Even if the queen doesn't show that right away, I feel like the king kind of sees the queen in a little bit of an ice queen kind of energy. Again, male or female doesn't matter. Um, feeling like it's hard to get into the heart space. But the masculine energies who are watching this reading, you're in their heart space. You are. Because then we have this nine of cups with the seven of pentacles and the five of pentacles in reverse. They want their wish fulfillment. They want to be happy and they want to keep moving on their path in the right direction. And they don't want this tension to be between the two of you anymore. They don't want to, they honestly, they don't they want you in their life. They do. They want you a part of their path. They feel that you're a part of their path. They just are making it very clear to you, to the masculine energies, that they're not going to put up with any stubbornness. Stubbornness is coming in really strong. <laughs> Stubborn as a mule is what they just told me. Stubborn as a mule. Might as well be pushing a boulder up a hill. Is also what they just told me. Oh my god! Some of you might, some of the masculine energies might hear that from the feminine energies here. Um, but even if they come off very harsh or very kind of cold with you, masculine energies, um, they do want you and they do care about you, and you are part of their wish fulfillment. Um, but there is still this little bit of a four of cups energy surrounding this communication and forward movement, and it is coming from the queen. Okay, I think they just want to make their point very clear with you masculine energies the feminine the feminine energies here i want to make a very clear point to the masculine energies of what they are not going to tolerate what they're not going to put up with all right there's a slight hesitation because of that it's almost like this fear of and I, you know there's a very common fear that a lot of people have and it is a fear even if people don't want to admit it to themselves <clears throat> if i give in they'll just keep doing what they've always done if i just forgive them they're always going to do what they're what they've always done right so i gotta i gotta drag it out <laughs> i gotta drag it out i gotta make a point there's a little bit of that energy going on on the side of the feminine energies here okay but either way i mean it's very clear the masculine energies have done a really um what's the word i'm looking for the masculine energies here have really looked at where they've been with this people pleasing energy and letting people oppress them, letting people take advantage of them, take advantage of their loyalty, leading them to lose a lot, even maybe even losing this queen at some point um, and really feeling like a failure. Some really lost everything. Some some of these masculine energies have really had to rebuild a lot of what they had. Right. And they also want to rebuild it with you. Feminine energies. OK. And I'm also getting that energy of really wanting a family with this queen, um, queen slash, slash empress, really wanting a family, really wanting to start a family, seeing them as um, a really great partner in parenting. Wow. Okay. All right. Let's get some advice. Let's give some advice for you. <clears throat> Any advice for my Torians regarding this spread? Any advice for my Torians regarding this spread? Now I'm going to advise both parties, like definitely open up to each other. <clears throat> both parties definitely open up to each other, but just be mindful. Um, just because you open up to someone doesn't mean you got to tell them everything, right? Be mindful of the information you're giving away because there are still some snakes in, snakes that have yet to be discovered in either of your lives. So if you're seeking advice from your friends or your family about this, please be very careful about that. I actually suggest you only seek guidance from your spirit team um, and have conversations with this king or with this queen, depending on whatever side you're on, okay? So just be mindful of what you're sharing with people in your life. Any advice for Taurus? 
especially the masculine energies here because you already had an issue with your social circle okay you already had an issue with people trying to keep you down all right not wanting you to be happy any advice for my taurians regarding this spread any advice for my oh Antelope spirit, life is speeding up with the energy of two. I love this. I'm actually getting a lot of harmony off of this, but with that kind of speed and quick energy, I do feel like once the king and the queen here kind of lay it all on the table and really talk and communicate and make their points very clear, excuse me, and are very like honest with themselves in the situation as well, things are going to pick up really quick, really quick. I actually just heard get ready. Oh, wow. Get ready. Shit. I feel like that's for the queen. <laughs> Definitely feel like that's for the feminine energies here. Um, get ready because when this resolution takes place, because the queen wants it, even if they act like they don't, the queen definitely wants it. Um, it's going to take off really quick. Get ready for that. Any other advice? I'm also getting more of that leader energy for the masculines, the masculine energies here. Um, being a gentle alpha. Be a gentle alpha here because the queen's gonna be bringing their alphaness to the table you make sure make sure you're bringing your alphaness right back to them but have a gentle a gentle touch to it okay for the masculine energies any advice for my taurians regarding this spread any advice for my taurians regarding this spread oh we have Sandpiper Spirit, be playful with the energy of 51 breaking down to a six and Wolf Spirit, turn knowledge into wisdom. Uh, 67, that breaks down to a four. So you have a four and a six here. That's a very, that's very harmonious foundations here that, that could potentially be built, rebuilt, rebuilt. Thank you, rebuilt, rebuilt. Um, mm. Yeah, I'm feeling the masculine energies with this one. So the masculine energies, I do feel like because you've been through some shit and you're getting rid of some toxic shit, you know, it's a time to also be lighthearted in the situation as well. And I feel like that's going to help you with this queen a little bit um, because they're ma they're making such clear, firm points with you. And like I said, like be a little gentle in your alphaness. That gentleness is going to be have to be playful. OK, not flirty, playful playful and lighthearted okay learn from the mistakes you made from the past with this person in particular and with the people pleasing that has taken place in the past being playful doesn't mean that you're a doormat being playful doesn't mean that you're not an alpha either and my alpha is coming in so strong i guess my masculine energies need to hear that for those that watch this um you can still be the wise buddha guru even and you can still be playful like shamans laugh a lot <laughs> They do. They laugh a lot, guys. And being playful and being lighthearted is a big part of also being balanced, right? And showing that to your queen is really going to help them also kind of soften themselves a little bit, okay? Some of the queens are going to have a hard time softening. And if you're playful with them and serious about what you're saying, they're going to soften, okay? All right, let's see here. Trust is coming in really strong. Okay, masculine. Some of my masculine energies had a really hard time trusting this queen right off the gate. Right off the gate, right off the bat. Um, there's an, yeah, there's this energy of mistrust. Yeah, okay. Sorry, I'm just making sure I got the download right. So for my masculine energy, energies, not all of you, but some of you had an issue trusting this queen initially. And this is about really, really understanding that this is someone you can trust. This is someone you can trust. They're not like the oppressors you've dealt with. They're not like the manipulators or snakes you've dealt with. Um, they're not going to make, they're not, they're not someone who, who enables people pleasing. That's not what they're about. That's not what they're about. Okay. Any other advice? Because keep in mind, they're an empress. Empress doesn't play games. Empress doesn't need to manipulate anybody. Okay. Because an empress can do that all by herself. If she has to. All right. Any other a lot of advice. Any other advice for Torians regarding this spread? Any other advice for Torians regarding this spread? Okay. Oh, 
Yes, we end on the best card. I'm going to save that one for last. Oh, this is really nice. We have Canary Spirit, Sing Your Own Song, with a 12 breaking down to a 3, and Seahorse Spirit, Watch and Wait, 53 breaking down to an 8. You're going to have to practice patience here, masculine energies. Practice patience. Speak your truth in this Canary Spirit. Speak your truth, especially when it comes to trust. And honestly, owning that issue, for those who have that issue, because not all of them did, for my masculine energies who struggled with that issue of trusting your empress, your queen, if you own up to that, that's going to that's going to um, really show a lot of your growth here. OK, it's going to really show that you're really serious and that you're really you're being honest with yourself and that you're being honest with this queen. Now, with this watch and wait and masculines, I already know and you're not going to like this, but you're going to need to be patient. You're going to need to be patient because, like I said, they're going to want to make their point with you. They're going to want to make their point with you because they are a little hesitant here, no matter how much they feel for you, because they're an empress. And an empress always knows that you can love someone, you can care about someone, but it doesn't mean they belong in your life if they don't know how to act and they don't know how to treat you right. So they are going to put you a little bit to the test in a way that feels very valid. I'm not saying they're going to put you through the ringer. They're not doing that. They're just trying to make sure that you really are about what you say you're about. So you're going to have to do a little bit of waiting and you have to be a little patient here with that. But with the energy of eight, that's going to lead to success and prosperity and abundance and stability with this person. OK, with your queen. So masculine energies, be patient, speak your truth and understand that this this queen slash slash empress is doing what they have to do to go about the situation appropriately. All right. But overall. We have otter spirit. You're never alone. 42 breaking down to a six here. This is the second six you have in the spirit animal deck. I love that this card came out because as you guys know, this is the only card in the deck that for me is about like that six of cups energy, the lover's energy. It's so yummy and so warm. Otters are so, <laughs> I, I know I talk about otters all the time every time this card comes out. So I won't, sorry. Okay, I won't, I won't talk about them even though they're so freaking adorable. But it is understanding that you do have someone that really gives a shit about you. That's someone who really cares about you, who has a lot of love for you. Masculine energies, this queen really does feel this way for you, even if you're not sure, even if they act like they don't. The queen already knows how you feel. I also make that very clear. The queen already knows how you feel about them. But they want to make sure that you're about actually doing what's right by them. Okay? Because they know that there's a difference. They know that love doesn't imply the other. But you have kind of maybe questioned how the queen might feel about you in that regard. They love you. They do. They love you. They just need to make sure that you really are going to do what's right for them and by them. Okay. But the love is there. The love is so there. Uh, a lot of kindred spirit energy with that, which is really nice. And just don't forget that while you're in waiting while you're trying to be patient with them, because they are going to take some time to make sure that you are about what you say you're about. Okay. Woo, Taurus, this was a crazy reading. <laughs> um, a very, very emotional reading too. And a really beautiful one. I see a lot of transition from, from crappy shit to really positive shit. And that optimism is going to help you. With the masculine energies, that optimism is going to help you. My feminine energies, you're, you're, you're playing this the right way. Okay, and I don't mean playing and playing games. But like you're going about this in the right way, in a way that's going to be comfortable for you and going to instill trust in the long term for both parties, okay? But it is a game of patience. It's a game of patience. So just be mindful of that, all right? Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to go on Patreon, check that out, along with Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I will see you guys later. Have a great night, Taurus. Namaste.